Hi there. In this video, I will explain how the underlying hardware of a computer works. The C language is very close to hardware, so it makes sense to have some modest understanding of how hardware works. A computer's job is to read, store, and manipulate data based on user's instructions. To do this, it will need hardware capable of doing the following. Storing data and ensuring it remains usable, retrieving data on demand and quickly, and lastly, understand user's instructions and execute them. So the major hardware can be seen as an integration of three key components, the CPU, the memory, and the disk. The disk here is responsible for storing data. The disk can store large amount of data in order of giga or even terabytes. This storage is permanent. Even if you power off your machine, data on the disk will remain as it is. The disk stores data as well as instructions for manipulating data. The central processing unit or CPU or just processor is an electronic circuit that can fetch data and execute instructions to work on the data. These instructions that I'm talking about are basic arithmetic and logical instructions. Combinations of these instructions give rise to more complex operations. In addition to that, CPU is also connected to input and output devices like the keyboard and the monitor. It does not store data like the disk does. Instead, it fetches whatever data is needed works on it and puts it back or sends the result to an output device. The CPU has to fetch whatever data it needs and data is stored on the disk. But the CPU does not fetch data directly from the disk. Instead, it fetches data from another electronic circuit that sits in between disk and CPU, the RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It stores data but not in the same way as the disk does. RAM stores relatively small amounts of data in the order of mega or gigabytes. RAM is volatile. Its contents will get erased if you power off your machine. At any point of time, the RAM stores data which the CPU may need immediately. The CPU does not deal with the disk directly. You may be wondering then, why do we not let the CPU collect data directly from the disk? The reason is that accessing data is much faster when done from RAM rather than when done from disk. The reason behind this is the difference in working of RAM and disk. The disk is a mechanical device. It stores information on literally a physical magnetic disk. It accesses data by the help of read-write head, which must be positioned on top of required data. The disk spins until the head is in its proper place. Because of this mechanism, access to data stored on disk is done in a sequential manner. You cannot just jump to whatever data you need. You will have to spin through the disk and reach your data. This is what makes disk access slow. In contrast, the RAM is an array of memory cells. Each cell has a unique address. And using this address, you can randomly access any cell. Hence the name random access memory. This makes RAM much faster because now you need not access data sequentially. Instead, you can fetch data in any order which is generally how the CPU fetches data. Since the RAM stores data needed by the CPU, it must try hard to store data which the CPU may need immediately. If data needed by the CPU is not present in RAM, RAM must access the disk and fetch the needed data, even if it means flushing out data already stored in RAM. So if you're wondering RAM stores data and is fast. 
why do we still need the disk? Well, RAM is very expensive. You will get more storage in disk than you will get in RAM for the same price. And RAM is volatile. Its data will perish when power is turned off. So that is a very high level understanding of how computer hardware works. I will talk more about hardware in my upcoming videos as required. But for now, this will suffice. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.